The gold price in London's professional bullion market fell $10 per ounce into Friday afternoon's benchmarking auction, dropping towards $1,982 to trade almost unchanged from last week's five-month high as Israel continued to prepare for a ground invasion of Gaza. Investors flee to safe haven metal even as interest rates rise, claims the Nikkei newspaper in Tokyo. The Middle East conflict has kept investors drawn towards the safety of bullion despite a higher-for-longer U.S. interest rate backdrop, agrees Reuters. But Western gold investment products, in fact, continue to see strong outflows, with the world's two largest gold ETFs, the GLD and IAU trusts, traded on the New York stock market, heading for their 8th and 14th weekly outflows respectively, shrinking to the smallest combined size in four years. Bullion Vault users had by Thursday night taken their net selling to more than half a ton from end August's record high vaulted gold holdings. Major German coin and bar retailer Pro Aurum, meanwhile, reports seeing three times the volume of customer selling as buying. Investment in precious metals in 2023 is significantly below last year's level, confirms another retailer in Germany, the world's third largest private bar and coin consumer in 2022. On top of that, thanks to the increased prices, many investors are taking profits and selling bars and coins back to them. Priced in the euro, gold bullion today slipped 0.2% from last Friday's record high global benchmark of €1,879 per troy ounce. The UK gold price in pound per ounce showed the same small retreat from its own new record London PM fixing of last Friday, set at nearly £1,637. With the Bank of England expected to hold UK interest rates at a 15-year high of 5.25% at its November meeting next week, the European Central Bank held its overnight deposit rate at a currency union record of 4.0% on Thursday. US data meantime said the world's largest economy grew at a 4.9% annualised pace between July and September, the fastest pace of GDP growth in nearly two years, with new figures today saying personal income growth slowed, but spending jumped and PCE inflation held firm at 3.4% per year last month. Both new and continuing US jobless benefit claims yesterday showed a rise on data for last week, but starting from historically low levels. Durable goods orders from September meantime came in stronger than expected, as did the US trade deficit in goods as well as the number of home purchases now pending. On a weekly basis, the price of London silver, meanwhile, lost 2.0% in dollar terms from noon last Friday, reversing just over one-fifth of its previous gains from the 30-week Friday low of $21.15, set on the 6th of October, eve of Hamas's terrorist atrocities across southern Israel. The dollar gold price fixed 8.9% higher from that Friday three weeks ago, showing its fastest such rise since August 2020 marked the peak of gold's first wave COVID surge to new all-time record highs above $2,000 per troy ounce. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.